Among the most successful Asians, self-made industrialists who rule the business world, Robert Kwok, the Malaysian's billionaire, is a living legend. No one would perhaps have as many business as him. Robert had tried his hand in sugarcane, oil, mining, flour, hotel, publishings and animals feed businesses, striking a huge success in whatever he touched. Robert's story is one of those inspiring rages to reach the saga. His uphill climb started as an office boy, after which he became the clerk of rice trading departments in Singapore. He was soon promoted to head the rice trading department. Young Roberts was a quick learner. Three years in the rice trading department helped him learn the trading business. He later began back the same in his hometown of Johor, along with his brothers, a cousins, and found Quark Brothers, a trading agricultural commodities company. Shortly after that, he found the Malayan Sugar Manufacturing Company, which quickly gained popularity. He made a cope by buying a cheap sugar from India before the price shoot up and continued to invest heavily in sugar refineries with productions of 1.5 million tons. It went on to become monopoly in sugar production space of Malaysia, producing 80% of Malaysia sugars and 10% of world sugar. That is precisely how Robert got his nickname the sugar king of Asia. This ambitious and immensely clever businessman did not just stop at that. In 1971, he built the first Shangri-La Hotel in Singapore, which now spread out through the world and is all set up to open its 71st hotel. In 2007, Robert combined his plantations, edible oil and grain businesses with Wilmer Internationals, hence making it the world's biggest palm oil processors. At the age of 91, he has a lot of investments in huge businesses in the nearly all of Asian countries, which includes Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines and a lot of other non-Asian countries. Experts would often say that his speed and cleverness led to that near-impossible success. As per the Forbes list, Robert Corp was declared the richest man of Malaysia and the second richest in Southeast Asia. In the Forbes list of the richest men of 2013, he was ranked at 76th place. Here, I would like to share to you the three lessons we learned from these successful entrepreneurs. Lesson 1, more than 90% is hard work, the rest is luck. Work hard for what you want because it won't come to you without a fight. The second thing is willing to take risks. Robert was not afraid to take risks and that was one thing that led him to be one of the most successful persons of the East. He says, there are risks in every business. If you are not brave enough to grab on the first or the next opportunity, then you are going to stay poor for the rest of your life. The third thing is, the more you learn, the more you earn. The only real security that a man will have in this world is the reserve of knowledge, experience and ability. In fact, Robert has a daughter and before the age of 17, she has never owned a branded clothing. Robert says, everything on the earth is dynamics. I can only give my children a message, not money. If they follow it, we can go another three or four generations.